previously on Hell's Kitchen. The final five chefs face their first individual challenge. Here they come, guys. Cooking for a hundred fickle high school students. I thought feeding my kids was hard. While Manda tried a motherly approach with her tacos. This is my kid's favorite thing in the world to eat. Honestly, you're such a mom. But I am a mom. Kristen. You're so cute. Pushed her fried chicken. What's your name? You're cute. With a side of flirt. I'll be 18 in three months. But it was Jared's cumin brushed steak that was the student's favorite. Congratulations. Jared! Yes! At dinner service, Chef Ramsey gave each of his black jackets a chance to work the pass alongside him. How long on those two snapper, Jared? Snapper walking. Ashley's turn as sous chef. Hey, that's bugs. Jared definitely needs to pull it together. Was torpedoed by Jared's struggle on the fish station. It's raw. Uh. Ariel. Chris, in three minutes on your risotto and your carbonara, both? Yes, three yeah. minutes, both. Nice, nice, nice. And Kristen. Doing well, how long? Minute and a half. Garnish, do you have anything for me? I'm running Wally Garnish to the window. She's stepping up in a really big way. We're both strong at the pass. Walking to your strip. Both were slowed down by Manda's terrible night on the meat station. It's under coats. Other way, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. And although there was only one table left, Chef Ramsey was so frustrated. I'll cook the last table. Like, get out of here. Then he sent the final five back to the dorms to nominate one chef for elimination. You fucked up today. You fucked up today. Set them both on. And even though they chose the one. Jared, chef. It was clear to Chef Ramsey that two of his final five. Jared, give me your jacket, please. Didn't measure up. Manda. Take off your jacket, please. Ending both of their chances of becoming the next head chef at the LT Steak at Bally's in Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of here. Yes, yeah, chef. Thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. That's crazy. Are you OK? I'm in complete and utter shock. I've never seen him send two black jackets home at the same time ever. You know, it's a little sad. Jared was my best friend here. He was always there for me when I needed him, but I have to focus on winning without him. We are the final three. We're the final three, y'all. Oh my god. Yo, can someone pinch me? I'm excited, but I'm not gonna be celebrating and asking for champagne until I fucking win the competition. You okay? <laughs> I don't know what to do right now. I don't know what to do with my hands. Look at me now. I'm stronger, I'm better, and I'm that much closer to being the head chef at BLT. There's no taking me down. Tomorrow at this time, there will be two of us. so bad. I know. It sucks because Ariel's a fucking monster, so it's going to be difficult to get her out. I know. I've been, th I've been thinking about it. I'm like, I don't... Like, trying to find weaknesses. It's difficult because you have three strong women right now. Ariel thinks she's strong, I think I'm strong, and Ashley thinks she's strong. So it's going to take an army to take down any of us. You're literally just going to have to trip the girl behind you as she walks out the door. I just feel like Ariel's attitude might fuck her up. I really do. I mean, I think that has to be a factor. Honestly, it really does. After a night of strategizing, Kristen and Ashley... Let's go, ladies. Line up. ...and Ariel have been told to meet Chef Ramsey outside to hear about their next assignment. 
Right, good morning. Good morning, good morning Chef. Chef. This motorcade has traveled five hours from Las Vegas to bring this very special delivery to Hell's Kitchen. What the fuck is going on? Sir, if you wouldn't mind, please open the doors. Thank you. Wow, oh boy. <laughs> Are you ready to find out what's inside the briefcases? Yes, yes sir. sir. My first thought is, is it money? Sir, could you please open briefcase number one? I knew oh. it. I knew it. I did not think it was going to be money. In there is actually a quarter of a million dollars. And for one of you, that money will be yours. Ariel, what's going through your mind? My sibling's college education is going through my mind. Interesting. Ashley? Um, a house for my mom, chef. A house for your mom. Nice. Love that. Kristen? A lot of hard work, chef. A lot of hard work. OK. Right now, I'd like you all to choose a briefcase. Ariel, what number would you like? I don't know, chef. Um, number one. <laughs> That's all I want right now. Ah! Uh, three, chef. Number three. Ashley? Number four, chef. Number four. And Kristen, that leaves you with number two. Now that everyone has a briefcase, are you ready to see what's inside? Yes, yes chef. chef. Gentlemen, please open the briefcases. Yes. yes. I'm so happy right now. I have this gorgeous, thick ribeye with all that fatty on it, like just fatty goodness. We have some very exquisite boning cuts that were literally transported from BLT steak at Bally's Las Vegas. Wow. And if you become the next head chef, you should be in a position to excel with each and every one of these amazing cuts. This is an opportunity to prove that you're the one for the job. Yes, yes chef. For today's challenge, you've all got 40 minutes to make an amazing steak dish and two stunning sides. Hold on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I think I better grab this one. <laughs> you have 40 minutes and your time starts. Now, let's go. Mmm. In today's BLT Bone-In Steak Challenge, the final three will have 40 minutes to perfectly cook their cut of beef. What'd you get? Filet. Ribeye, right chef. These are big cuts. The winner goes to a steakhouse, so you should be menu-minded. I've never in my life cooked a filet that big. I've never in my life cooked a filet with a bone in it, so this is going to be a challenge for you to sear on this guy. I love Southwestern food. So that's my immediate plan. I'm doing a um, twice-baked potato stuffed pasilla pepper and then a chipotle butter with the beans and the corn. Hey, guys, I didn't go Asian today. Aren't you proud of me? 25 minutes to go. The chef. Sorry, chef. Where are you headed with yours, Ariel? Chef, I am going to grill my New York strip. I have a few different sides going, so yeah, I'm going to buck going on. I'm gonna try to get them, see whatever gets done first, whatever tastes best. I don't know what I'm going to make until everything's on the plate. And cooking a steak is pretty straightforward, so my main focus is pretty much on the sides. I'm going to do a bacon and onion vinaigrette with the steak. Last 10 minutes. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. This is a steak challenge. We're fighting for a steakhouse. This has to be perfect. Careful with walking around with your steak in your hand. Heard. Drop that on the floor, then what? Right? Game over, chef. Yep. A ribeye tastes so good with all that fatty on it. So first thing that comes to mind is keeping it simple and classic. Blue cheese, salt and pepper. Mind you hot. And I really wanted the steak to shine on its own and have the sides be complimentary. 30 seconds to go. Come on. Let's go. 10, Ooh, no. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and stop. Good job. Well done. Chefs, are you confident in your dishes? Yes, chef. Glad to hear it, because I have a very special guest judge. Now, this man knows a thing or two about steak, let me tell you. He's now the executive chef of Wolfgang Puck's Michelin star steakhouse cut in Beverly Hills. Please welcome Chef Ari Rosenson. Chef, welcome. Chef, how are you? Good to see you. 
Chef Ari is a really great chef. He knows exactly what a steakhouse um, steak is supposed to look like and what it's supposed to taste like. So this is not going to be easy. Ashley, Ariel, Kristen, bring all three steaks forward. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. As I'm seeing the other girls' dishes in front, I'm like, wow, they have a lot more going on than I do. But I think my plate says steakhouse all over it. Visually, how does that look? They look very different. Although they're steak on a plate, technically, they're all presented with a unique vision in mind. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Let's begin with Ashley. Uh, please describe your dish to Chef. What I did for you today is a southwestern style filet. I rubbed it with pasilla pepper and smoked chili powder. And the side that I have for you is a grilled poblano pepper. And the veg that I have is all sauteed in chipotle butter so that all three components combine really well. My dish looks sexy, just like me. So I know that I am ready to go. You definitely left the steak in the foreground, let it speak for itself, which is cooking is what a steak is all about. Thank you. The pepper is a little bit undercooked. Okay. It definitely needs to like maybe cook with the steak and baste it a little bit or braise it even. Uh, great effort. Perfectly cooked in the middle. Thank yeah. you, Chef. Uh, good. What a great start. Ariel, please describe your dish to Chef. Chef, I'll start with the steak. I did a roasted garlic and poblano pepper butter for the corn. So some of the oil that was left over from the garlic, I poured over the steak to kind of baste it. Um, I also put some of the butter on the steak and some grilled pineapple. And then the other side is spaghetti squash with a cipollini onion and bacon vinaigrette with some fennel as well. Wow, good flavor. Beautifully seasoned. The temperature on the protein is spot on. Absolutely. The squash is delicious. There's a lot going on there. There is a lot in that little dish, but that's, I wanted to have a lot of flavor. Overall, yeah. well executed. Strong effort. Thank you, Chef. Kristen, please describe your dish to Chef. I have a bacon and gorgonzola potato puree, and I have a grilled asparagus, just seasoned with salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic shallot, and my ribeye with a red wine dummy, grilled and finished in a cast iron for a little bit more char. Beautifully cooked. Wow, delicious. This has got to be a good thing. Like, he's drooling over my ribeye right now. <laughs> Definitely. Caramelization on both sides, flavor through and through. It's very difficult to nail potatoes. That's why it's a sign of a good chef is a great potato dish. Now, Chef Ari, I mean, these three um, reiterate to me that we have definitely got the three most talented chefs in this competition. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. three good efforts. Yeah. Um, now for the hard part, Ari, which dish would you prefer? All Kristen did was typical steakhouse, potatoes and veg. I thought outside the box and I did something completely different. I got it. It's a difficult decision. Uh, that's why you're here. I have faith in my dish. It tastes good, and it's the most outstanding compared to everyone else. Uh, ladies, we're struggling. Um, this is down to the tiny detail, because you've nailed the protein. Let's get that right. I'm so nervous. I'm hoping my sides complement it as well as I think they do. Is it Ashley's bone-in filet, Ariel's New York strip, or Kristen's ribeye? Which dish would you prefer? For my flavor profile, the way I like to eat a steak, I would have to say Kristen's ribeye. Wow. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Well done. Oh my God, like, I'm, I'm elated. I'm on cloud nine right now. I kept my dish simple and it came out ahead. Thank and you, Chef. Join me in thanking Chef Ari. Chef, as always. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. See you shortly. Chef. Take care. I think that Kristen stayed super simple, super safe. Um, I think I should have won. Kristen. Yes, Chef. I have a fantastic reward for you today. You've just cooked for Ari. Now it's his turn to cook for you. A cut in Beverly Hills. That's amazing. A That's reward amazing. like this shouldn't be experienced alone, right? Agreed. I'll be joining you. Yay! <laughs> Get changed. My car is waiting. Let's go. All right. See Good you job. soon. I'm so happy right now. This is this is the greatest feeling. <laughs> Two very good dishes. You three are neck and neck. Good job. Don't be despondent. However, whilst Kristen and I are dining at the cut, you'll be scrubbing down that armored truck. As you know, it went through a five-hour journey across that desert to get here. Give a little wipe down to those uh, police uh, motorcycles as well. After that, I want both of you to prep the kitchen ahead of tonight's service. Now get out of here. Chef. Damn, 
I really wanted to win that challenge. So I'm now Kristen has a leg up because she gets to be on the reward with Chef Ramsay and pick his mind. So I'm just really over this punishment before it even starts. Really, Chef? Really, Chef? Really? God, I want to have lunch with Chef Ramsay. That sucks. He's only been my idol since I was five years old. Oh, <sighs> ladies are busy. Uh, ladies, uh, please be careful there. Some sharp objects. No more injuries, please. Uh, welcome. Nice car, Chef. Thank you, Arrow. It's traveling style. Off we go. Chef would have way more fun at lunch with me than Kristen. <laughs> Bye, ladies. Bye. God, Chef Ramsay looks so handsome in this suit. Damn, that's one good looking white man. Wow, how nice is this? This is amazing. What was the hardest thing for you when you were my age? 27, 28 was the turning point for me, because that's when I, I knew that I had to get my shit together. I know that feeling. It was just right. No matter what happens, uh, it's going to be in this industry. 27, it's the turning point in my life as well. Before that, I was rebellious. I, I did everything and anything I could to defy my parents. But now I come into the kitchen every day with a mission to cook my heart out. It's been a long time coming, but it's a good thing. Uh, the final three. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible is not even the word. <laughs> so the whole restaurant is just for you. Oh, my god. Oh, I think there's two <gasps> other guests. <laughs> oh, my god. Mom. <laughs> Good to so see sweet. you all. <laughs> it couldn't be a better time to see my parents. You have an amazing daughter. Yes, Thank we do. So uh, enjoy. I'll see you back at Hell's Kitchen. Thank you so much, Chef Ramsay. Um, this was the best gift that you could have given me. Oh, my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. So I totally kicked ass in the challenge today. It was a steak challenge. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Has there been anything that you've had an issue with? Oh, my god. I got in a fight with a girl one night. Put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Get the fuck out of my face. But I walked away. Good girl. All the faith you guys have had in me has been my savior at the end of the day. Well, we have a pretty strong, loving family that's going to back anything and everything that you do. Well, that's what it's always been, you know? Yeah. My parents have been by my side through all of my ups and downs. I've dealt with a lot of heartbreak, a lot of disappointment. The thing that keeps you going is, um, you know, parents like mine. You need to go in and kick some ass. <laughs> if you want it, you got to take it. Oh, that feisty mom. You get, that's I knew I needed to see you for a reason. That's right. You just can't interrupt. <laughs> so cool. After a much appreciated reward with her parents in Beverly Hills. What's up, guys? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Kristen rejoins Ariel and Ashley to prep for tonight's very important dinner service. I just wish I would have got to talk to Chef. Well, you know, it was a really cool reward. Did you have fun? Yeah, I got to see my both my parents. Oh, nice. What happened? I got to see both my parents. For real? Yeah. They were at the Wilshire. I was definitely envious of the fact that she got to have that one-on-one -on -one with Chef Ramsay. But then she says, I got to see both my parents. And I was like, yeah, you could have saved that news, bitch. I would have loved to see my parents. That is some fucking shit right there, bro. That's crazy. Ladies, let's go. Line up, Blue Kitchen, please. Chef. Quick, let's go. Line up. Tonight is the service that will determine who will enter the Hell's Kitchen final. Tonight is not just about how you perform behind the line. It's how you perform as a leader. Because each one of you will have a turn at the hot plate, running Hell's Kitchen. There should be constant communication, a great rhythm at all times. So it is absolutely important when you're up at the pass to take control. What are you going to do? Take control, chef. Can't hear you. Take control, chef. Ladies, get on your stations. Good luck. Let's go. Mourinho. See, chef. 
Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Let's go. Tonight, each chef will be tested by running the pass. Definitely ready for this. Yeah, buddy. Providing them the opportunity to showcase for Chef Ramsay their leadership skills and quality control. Good luck to all three of you. While they're working the pass, sous chefs Christina and Aaron will be covering their stations. Fork of a table 32, two risotto, two carbonara. Yes, yes chef. chef. Pass is dropped. Tonight's dinner service is gonna be epic. I'm already feeling like a sense of honor just to be in the top three, but going into top two, I'm just more motivated. I just, I can taste it. First risotto's coming to the pass. Walk it with your lobster tail. Carbonara coming to the pass. Very nice, that coming on point. Thank Let's you. Go. With appetizers flying out quickly into the dining room. Mm. Really good. Ariel. Yes, chef. To the hot plate, please. Let's go. Yes, chef. Ariel is up first to run the pass. More importantly, show me and them who's the boss. Yes, okay. Chef. Here we go. One table, four covers, appetizers, two risotto, two scallops. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Risotto, how long? You got about two minutes, chef. Two minutes heard. Out of the three people here, I definitely think that I have a really strong chance of being the winner of Hell's Kitchen, but you never know what's gonna happen. I'm waiting on two risotto and two scallops, though. How long for that risotto? Two minutes. The risotto that you're working right now, chef, how long? Two minutes. That's what I said. Okay. Two minutes, Ash. This is the fourth time you told me two minutes. All right, I need you to hurry that up. Okay. Chef Christina, can I have those two risotto, please? Yep, in my hand. Chef Ramsay will be using sous chefs Christina and Aaron to help test the chef's quality control and attention to detail. Walking with lobster tail. Yep, good, let's go. Thank you. I really need that risotto. Yes, chef. You can put it in my hand, I'll walk it to the pass. Ariel's first test is already in her hands, a risotto made from carrot puree instead of squash. Stop, 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 put it down. First of all, the color of that. Taste that. I tasted it, though. I want you to taste it again. Okay. Yeah, you can argue what you want, but no. taste it. <laughs> Tell me, what's, why is it so sweet? I don't know, chef. It tastes good. I don't know. Carrot puree. It's not butter, it's squash. Yep. Maybe carrot puree. Yep. No, chef, yes. Look at me. Yes, hey, yes, you can yes, put your head down and get pissed yes, off, chef. but no, it's no, carrot. No, 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 I'm not pissed yeah. off. Right. It well, just, it's tastes good. Yeah. I was just frustrated. I mean, I don't really watch Hell's Kitchen like Ashley, so I wasn't thinking that sabotage was going to happen. See the color? Yeah, chef. With me or not? I'm yep. with you all the way. There you go. Check on everything, yeah? All right. John, you know where we're going, yes? After failing her first quality test, Ariel knows it's important that she proves her worthiness with the remainder of her time at the pass. Four covers, two Arctic Char, two Wellington. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Right now, I'm just anxious. I had no idea like what I was going to encounter and what I was going to go through, but I need to show Chef I'm better than this one. Chef, this char garnish isn't right. I need herbs in the char garnish. The potatoes aren't Good. crispy. Well spotted. And I've been through a lot in my 26 years, and I'm not giving up. Success is my only option. Failure is not. Kristen, can you come up here to the pass, please? I need you to cut these Wellingtons in a way I can stand them up. It's not trimmed off enough. OK, I can do that. Good. Well spotted. This is my only opportunity, and I'm definitely very confident in myself. Good, let's go. You know where you're going. Go quick. Good. Despite her less than perfect start, Ariel is able to regain her composure and finish strong. Uh, Ariel, good job. On the garnish, swap places with Aaron, please. Aaron, go to meet, please. We Thank chef. you. Kristen, to the hot plate, please. Let's go. The chef. It really all comes down to this. At this point, if you don't think that you're going to win, then you shouldn't be here. Ordering six guests, table 20, two snapper, two Wellington, two New York strip. Yes, chef. Hurt. Hurt. The final two. <sighs> almost here. It's almost here. Whatever gets thrown at me today, I just, I have to be the best that I can be. I'm walking up on New York, and I'm walking up on Wellington, chef. Wellington? Thank you. New York to your left. I'll slice New York strip. You look at me. Yes, chef. Mashed potato, mashed potato, asparagus. Wellington's on there, yes? Yes, chef. Good girl. Kristen's first challenge is to identify that one of the Wellingtons brought up by Chef Eric does not contain duck cell between the meat and puff pastry. They look very different. So this is not gonna work. There's no duck cell in this. Chef, add to the hot plate, please. No, Chef. What's wrong, Chef? There's no duck cell in this. No we duck have another one? We fired right now. Thank you, Chef. Good, well spotted. Not only are you trying to get used to running the pass, but now you have a bunch of random shit. This is crazy. Snapper. Ashley, 
plate, to the hot plate. Snapper, it's burned. Really overcooked. Refire. Snapper, how long? Gotta stay in control. Yes, chef. Otherwise, I'll they're gonna it. throw you under the fucking bus. Ashley, how long? Ashley? No answer. She's not listening. Ashley. Yes, chef. Look at me. You can't just screw her. I don't think that's too much to ask now, is it? I don't know where Ashley's head is right now, but I feel like I need to, like, slap her out of it. Ashley, you talking to me or should I talk to myself? At least answer me. I don't know where Ashley's head is right now, but this is not going to fly. Ashley, snapper. Walk in with two snapper. My apologies. Here, we go. Here please. Let's go. You know where we're going, yes? Go, John. My apologies. With Ashley's refire on the snapper passing inspection, Kristen's first entrees are now being delivered to the dining room. Thank you. I'm welcome. Kristen, I have another ticket for you. Okay. Thank you. Here I go. And Marino is about to test her attention to detail with an improperly written ticket. Four gas table 53, two risotto, one capellini. <gasps> we don't even have capellini on the mat, so ignore that. Hey, no, come here. Yep. First of all, Chef. you look at the ticket first. You read it. You, you study it. Capellini went off the menu six weeks ago. Get him over here and tell him to rewrite the ticket. My fault. Marino. Hey, because you can't stand there and look like that in front of yeah. you again. Yeah. Yeah. So address him. Capellini. Yep. So Chef sabotages are the worst. It's like being in Super Mario Brothers. You're just trying to jump over obstacles. New order. There's nowhere to hide. And you just have to deal with it. My fault. Two risotto, two carbonara, followed with two Arctic char, two New York strip. Two char, two strip. Two char, two strip, her chef. Are you going to give them to me both at the same time? I am going to do my best, chef. I trust you, chef. Little hiccups are going to happen anytime you do something for the first time. But I just don't feel like anything can stop me. I can still play risotto, yes, yeah, chef? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Taste everything. Carrot. Good. Well spotted. Chef, two more risotto without carrots, please. Heard chef. My apologies. 30 seconds on a perfectly seasoned refire risotto. 30 seconds, heard chef. Chef Christina's sneaky. She really is. Chef Christina, did you put cheese in this? Oh, yeah, oh, mascarpone empire. Mascarpone empire? Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. A little salt in there, chef? It's in there. Good. Well spotted. You need a little bit more, chef? Sure. Good. Love it. Getting a little, um, watch yourself. OK, give that to me. Good, let's go. After a reasonably strong performance at the pass. OK, well done. Change the section, let's go. It's time for Kristen to return to her station yes, and yeah, make way for the final member of the trio, Ashley, to run the kitchen. Ashley, you're with me on the hot plate. I was struggling on fish for a minute, but this is my chance to redeem myself. You know, giving up is not in my vocabulary. I don't do that shit. Your first table, yes? All right, new order. Appetizer, two risotto, two carbonara. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Check everything, yes? Yes, chef. And taste everything. Let's go. How long on the risotto, Ariel? No answer from Ariel. Got to get organized, Ashley. Wakey, wakey, let's go. Got to get going. We've just got to get going. Two risotto, two carbonara, how long? Three minutes, Chef. Three minutes. Ashley says she's a strong leader, but like she's moving around and not doing anything. Ashley, please. Let's go. We can't stare, my darling. We've got to get in there. Right behind hat. Two carbonara, two risotto. Thank you. Taste it here. That's good, Chef. Rice on the cook. Back in there. Rice on the cook. Quick. Oh my God, Ashley, you're so stupid. Rice undercooked, Ariel. I need this back on, please. She's not listening. Ariel, come her, grab this her, risotto. Let me bring you a scallop I'll grab that when I come to the no, pack. No, I said the rice is undercooked. I think it needs more cooking, which is more important. Right, Ashley. Everybody on the hot plate has made mistakes. Yes, Chef. Okay? You're down. You're not you, and you're quiet, and you're just unresponsive. What's the matter? I need you to get your head out of the sand. Yes, Chef. What's the matter? You have a chance to make a comeback. I know. But talk to me. I'm here to help you. I know how hard it is, but if you don't communicate with me, how can I help you? Don't give up. You with me? You're still in it. Oh, yeah? yeah. Come on then, let's go. I believe let's that Chef Ramsay sees something in me, and I'm not going to go down without a fight. They're not just going to get me out that easy. No way. On your right hand side, to risotto. Risotto needs more salt. Let's go, well spotted. I need more truffle oil, more chives, more cheese on these fries. There's nothing there. Oh, Bland. yes, sir. Good catch. Woo! Yes. Does 
Casper Blanc needs more salt and more lemon, Chef. Good, well spotted. After some good quality control work. Go, please. New ticket in. Two scallop, two risotto, two carbonara. Yes, Chef. Ashley's next test is coming from Chef Ramsay himself, who is replacing the black bean puree for the scallops with black garlic puree. John, some more spoons, please. Wow, this looks like. Talk to me. This doesn't look right, Chef. You're absolutely right. First of all, it's black garlic puree. OK. And here, that's the bean puree. Well Chef. spotted. Good girl. Hell yeah. Nothing's getting by me. So fuck you, Ariel and Kristen. I got that shit right. Ashley's success with his planned sabotage impressed in. Chef Ramsay. Entrees. Two char, two welly, two New York strip. How long? About 60 seconds, Chef. But now, Chef Christina is replacing Arctic char in the entrees with deceptively similar looking salmon. There it is, crispy skin. Two shards of char, beurre blanc, please. Let's go. Check the fish, please. Is it char? Stop. Check the fish? Yep. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at the fish visually. What do you see? The skin is still not crispy, yeah. Chef. But look at the fish in general. Look at the size of the flakes underneath. It's salmon. It's salmon. Chef Christina, to the hot plate, please. This is salmon, not char. I need two I'll char, right, please. I'll be right behind. Give me three and a half minutes, Chef. Despite not catching the salmon, Ashley is now in full control of the kitchen. How long on that char? Two minutes, Chef. Come on. You need to move quick. Good. Send it, please. And entrees continue to move out quickly to the dining room. All right, guys. Let's dig in. Last three tables, guys. Yes, Chef. Kristen, you have Wellington's resting? Slicing wellies. Tonight's dinner service, we were just killing it. This is exactly how this service should be. Good. Let's go. Service, please. Thank you. I'm ready to walk on New York's. I think everyone was a little out of their element in the past, but we finished strong. Yeah, the char is really good. The char is really good. It's kind of crispy. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Delicious. It's kind of done to perfection. We're going to order another one of these, because these are unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, ladies, come with me, please, quickly. Tough one, but well done. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. I'm going to ask you to do something that is very difficult, but very important. I want you to think about everything that has happened in Hell's Kitchen. Since the day you walked in, your first service, the ups, the downs, your strengths and weaknesses, and think of the one individual that should not be in the finale. Yeah, chef. Chef. You got a lot to discuss. Head to the patio. Yeah, chef. Great job. Chef. I'm nervous as shit going into elimination. Like, who who doesn't deserve to be here? I mean, we all deserve to be here. Um, I want to be in the finale. I think I, I deserve to be in the, the finale. finale. I want to be in the finale too. I feel like I've kept my my mental state and my composure throughout this whole thing, and I've I've done nothing but build strength. This has been an amazing journey. I pushed myself harder than I ever thought I even could. And I'm a leader. I am a strong leader. I know that. I agree that you can be a leader, but I can't say there's any service or any one challenge that I can pinpoint or remember you like being leader or during prep, you being the leader. That is a really good point. I know for a fact that I am, you know, a leader that Chef is looking for. So, Ariel, you can go fuck yourself. We need to think about every single thing that's happened so far. You know what I mean? Ariel, you have an attitude with everyone. I, I like to respect people. I, I do agree with that. I didn't talk back today. Like, I'm not a disrespectful person. Like, I haven't disrespected anybody in this competition. I really kind of want to battle against Kristen in the finale. So do I. I'm feeling pretty safe right now. It really all comes down to Ashley and Ariel. And having an equal competition is all I want at the end of the day. We're all hungry for it, for sure. We've proven that. But I'm not going down without a fight. None of us should. First of all, you are definitely, without a shadow of doubt, deserving of being the final three. Let me tell you that. But the big question tonight is, who deserves to be in the final two? Ariel. Chef. Why do you think you deserve to be in the Hell's Kitchen final? Because I've pushed myself. I've learned a lot about my leadership skills. I have learned to be humble. 
I've learned to respect my craft here at Hell's Kitchen and would be thrilled to showcase what I've learned in the finale. Ashley. I am focused and I'm driven and I have grown tenfold since I've been here. I have pushed myself to my absolute limits and it would be an honor to be in the finale. It's a dream of mine, so I know that I can do it. Kristen. Chef, I came into this competition with humility, focus, determination, and as I got stronger, I stayed consistent. I raised the bar for myself and for the chefs around me. I want the opportunity to bring that energy to BLT and drive that team to success. Ashley, let me ask you this. Who doesn't belong in the Hell's Kitchen final? I believe that Ariel doesn't belong in the final chef. Why? I feel that her personality may clash with a lot of people. She's sometimes disrespectful to leadership, and I feel that that is a hindrance. Ariel. Chef, I think Ashley doesn't belong in the finale because she overthinks a lot of things. She doubts herself sometimes and doesn't have the drive to be a head chef. Kristen. I believe it's Ashley that does not belong in the finale, Chef. Ashley wears her heart on her sleeve, and it can be a sign of weakness. Ashley is a, a huge overthinker, and I find overthinking can spread like a disease trying to lead a team. It's time now to reveal who will be battling it out in the Hell's Kitchen final. The first person advancing to the Hell's Kitchen final is... Kristen, congratulations. Thank you, well Chef. Well done. <laughs> I'm soaring right now. So excited. Now I get to run my brigade in the most badass way possible on Hell's Kitchen. Ashley, Ariel, this is one of the most difficult decisions I've ever had. The person who will be joining Kristen in the final is... Ariel. Ah, it's crazy! So crazy! So fucking crazy! So crazy! Congratulations. Thank you so much, Chef. Ashley, step forward, please. Young lady, don't be upset. Here's why. You were born to cook, and I refuse to take your jacket because there was so little separating you from the finale. It was that tight. Thank you, Chef. Come here, you. Come on. Don't be upset. Hey. Well done. Thank Head you. up high. Good night. I did not come to Hell's Kitchen to walk through that door. I came to Hell's Kitchen to walk through the big door, the door to my future. Where'd you work? Uh, my family owns a couple of restaurants in Orlando. Wow, mom and dad have got restaurants. Two dads, dad number one, dad number two. This has been a wild journey. <laughs> Sorry, no, fuck no. Are you gonna vomit? <laughs> it has been the hardest thing I've ever done. You've checked out, right? You know what I should be doing? Breaking your fucking face right now. Nobody should be talked to that way. Right. I would never fucking disrespect somebody like that. But I made it very far. Ashley, congratulations. Thank you, Chef. I'm proud of myself. After working with my dads for eight years, I have done this entire competition completely on my own. Those New York strippers cook perfectly. Thank you, Chef. I have done it with my own talent. The dish of the day belongs to Ashley. Well done. Red team wins. And I learned that I am one tough bitch. Three and a half minutes out. Get it to me quicker, two and a half. Winning Hell's Kitchen would have been my ultimate dream come true. But my dad is probably really happy deep down that I didn't win because he's not going to lose me to BLT steak. Congratulations. Thank amazing, you. amazing, amazing. Ooh. Absolutely incredible. Eric, how do you feel? Chef, I feel awesome. Kristen. <laughs> This is, a, this is a surreal feeling. Honestly, I couldn't be any happier, let me tell you. I think back to the beginning, how strong you both stood out. Quite remarkable. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Chef. Head to the door. Good night, Chef. Good night, Chef. Yeah. Wow. wow. Oh, my god. I'm on fire right now. I'm really proud of myself. Oh, oh my god. god. Arielle is going to put up a fight, and I'm so ready to take her down. 
Ashley is a young chef with a very bright future. She earned her place in the final three, and I have no doubt she'll be a great success. Next time on the Hell's Kitchen season finale. This competition is wide open. The battle lines have been drawn. Wait, bam. Oh my god! Who will be victorious? I want to smoke Ariel. Like, no fucking way. And claim the head chef position at BLT Steak at Bally's in Las Vegas. And a quarter of a million dollars. Oh. Let's go. Will it be Ariel? You've been strong all night. In Your Face, Country Club Chef from New Jersey. I'm ready to kill it. Or Kristen. Make it nice, don't rush it. The Bad Girl Gone Good from the Windy City. I'm the best person for this position. Did you see that to Sam in how long? Easiest section tonight, and you're still fucking screwing up. It's win or go home. Where is she? She left. What do you mean she left? Oh my god. All next time on the electrifying conclusion. One. This is going to change my life. Two. Please let my door open. Please let my door open. Three. Hell's Kitchen.